Well, hello and welcome to Fat Squatch Games. That's right, you guys. The tier two heroes we've been waiting for. That's right. This is level two on the heroes. Seraphim versus the mole. And I've got it all in one freaking video. That's right. One video. You're gonna see all of it. Oh my gosh, it's good. First, we're gonna take a look at Seraphim. And then we're gonna also see the mole in action. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's take a look at this awesome tier two hero for the Confederation, the Seraphim. Yes, look at that punishment. Overdrive. <laughs> Let's take a look at those. My gosh, this is gonna be good. Oh, look at, it's so beautiful. Look at how it lights up on the back there. Yeah, okay. Performs a rocket salvo with 16 energy warheads dealing massive damage in the area. Works both in land and uh, in air modes. Wow, land and air. Very, very, very cool, you guys. Wow. Look at all that, that's amazing. Overdrive, activates turbo mode at the beginning of an attack. Temporarily doubles the rate of fire and increases velocity by 30%. Whoa, -ho -ho! my goodness, wow. All right, Seraphim, yes, yeah, Seraphim, that's right, that's the name, Seraphim, is a unique transformer fighter which can move both in the air and on land. It can be used both along with the army and for solo sudden rear attacks on enemy bases. Seraphim is armed with powerful energy auto cannons and the punishment salvo missile system. Wow, so cool, so cool. Look at that energy gun, Lazarus. Wow. Oh my goodness. We're going to have some fun with this guy. We're going to see what he can do. You guys know it's all about these heroes. Let's jump into some action. Guys, Extreme also has videos, so make sure you go check him out. I'll have a video at the end of this video where you can go check out his video on the heroes. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Well, first we got to build a base, so let's do it flying through that real quick. Grabbing some containers. Yes. And I absolutely love the little details and the graphics they've added. There is our awesome Confederation hero building right there. Look at that thing. It is so good looking. I know I talked about this in the last one, uh, the last video I did but uh, for Cerberus, but I absolutely love this building, you guys. Look how it lights up. I just love it. They've done a great job. And just wait till you get to see the awesome Seraphim coming out of this building. You're going to love it. But first, let's get our Cerberus out first so he can go out and cause some trouble. Yeah. <laughs> now, we've got water on this map, you guys. Water on this map. So let's grab some containers. That means we're going to be able to take Seraphim out on the water, which is fantastic. Now. This battle actually was a flag battle, which is interesting. So we're capturing some flags. There you are, buddy. How you doing, Cerberus? If you guys didn't watch my Cerberus video, I'll put it right here. There's the link right there. You can go watch that later. You'll find it on my channel featuring the amazing Cerberus. You gotta check it out. All right, he's gonna go up here on the hill with the fortress. We're gonna try to take that flag Let's write that flag up there. Now, you can see the little town here. If you're brand new to this game, you guys, you are going to love all the little details that Gear Games puts into their game, Art of War 3. They've got these little towns on the map, the different maps. Oh, we got a sniper tower that he's put up in place to protect that flag. We got to take that sniper tower down. Yeah, get him. Ha! <laughs> yeah there you go yeah you like the flames yeah very nice oh I love it <laughs> Woo, taking it down yes the fortress and the Cerberus oh yeah here we go let's go for a jump yeah ha <laughs> Woo, took it down oh but we don't want to we're not we don't want to go too close to the enemy base here. But we've got the flag, and that's what we wanted. Okay. 
All right. Yes. Power with the flag. All right, guys. We are upgrading our hero building. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like because, you know, when you upgrade a building, something changes so you can know what level it's at. So let's see what this building does when you upgrade it. Now, you've got to have a uh, vehicle factory 2 and a headquarters 3 to upgrade to the second level on the hero building. But here we go. We're going to see the Seraphim here in just a moment. Cerberus is holding it down. Oh, we got coyotes. We got riflemen. Bring it on. Yeah. You want a piece of me? Ha, ha, ha. Whoa. Dang it. He's surrounded. Yeah, that's right. Put on the shield. My goodness. This guy can really take a beating. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, rest in peace. Here we go. Uh, we are building and upgrading some stuff. Here he comes. Yeah, yeah. We're getting ready to build Seraphim. Yes, yeah, Seraphim. You guys have been waiting for this tier two action, and now you're about to get it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I love how they've... See how what they did there with the, uh, the pillars in the corners? They've got another... Like, they're a little taller now. They've got another layer to them. They're taller. That's great. I love it. So the, the the higher you go, the higher those little pillars or those will go on the corners there. I love that. I love that. That's perfect. Look how they and look how they're blinking. Oh my goodness. I just love the way that thing lights up. Here comes the seraphim. Yeah yeah. Guys, I hope you're having a good time. As much fun as I'm having. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Because I love making content for you and having a good time playing games with you. All right. Now, guys, if you're brand new to Art of War 3, Gear Games, the makers of Art of War 3, are coming out with new heroes. We've looked at the first tier of the heroes uh, in my last videos. Now we're looking at the second tier, tier 2. These tier 2 heroes from both sides confederation and resistance the confederation have the seraphim which is coming out right now here we go oh my goodness look how that opened up <laughs> oh my god i love it oh i love it we're gonna look at that a few more times i'm gonna look into there as much as i can oh my gosh oh here we go look at this guy look at him hovering oh he hovers Oh, yeah! Well, he's just taking down those dragonflies. Nice. With the support of the heavy assaults. Nice. Let's, uh, let's put him on the ground. Yeah! Look at that. So he transforms into, like, a mech warrior thing. Look at him. Look, look at him go. Oh, my gosh. So cool. He's huge. Oh, back up in the air. Oh, and it's so easy. It's so easy to, to transform him. Very nice. Come on. Yeah. Boy. I love it. Nice. Oh, no. Let's make another one. Let's make another one. Now, guys, I understand. Like, if you put these... These, these heroes are meant to be with other units. I encourage you to do that when you get the chance to play with these guys. But I am, I am really trying to just test them out, play with them. We'll throw a couple units with them here in a little bit. Oh! That fortress. Yes, the OG hero of <laughs> the Confederation doesn't get enough credit, that guy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, more heroes. We're going to pop out Cerberus and another Seraphim. Now, like I said, we've got water on this map. And uh, you can see what my enemy's doing, extreme, which is actually the way to do it here on this map is to get up on that hill and take that hill, take control of that hill, control the map that way. Now, I don't think he's gonna have anything in the water. Oh, he took back that flag. Let's see here. Okay, we've got uh, my flame assaults coming out, my heavy assaults, my hammers, my fortress. 
my Cerberus and my Seraphim. Yeah, that's right. Bring it on. You guys know I'm a big fan of these heroes. And it's going to be so much fun to play with these guys. I can only imagine when we get to do 3 versus 3, when they bring that out eventually. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Can you imagine all the heroes on the map and all the battles happening? Oh my goodness, it's going to be... Oh! Come on! Oh, but now listen. The Wasp is getting some help from that gun tower over there to the right. Oh, Cerberus! Come on! The heavy assault. Oh, there's only one heavy assault left. Oh, no! Come on! Come on, guys! Oh, there comes a flamethrower flying in with a jetpack. Bring it on. <laughs> Here comes Seraphim. Oh, I love and I love the I love the special touch there. Oh my gosh. Look at the energy coming out the bottom and the back there. As it's hovering. I just love the I love it the way it works, the, the way it moves. You can see how it just kind of moves. It can easily move side to side. It'll be interesting to see um, as it's moving away here if we can engage uh, an enemy unit and have it like fire and move away. But we're going on the water, you guys. Let's go on the water. Check it out. Hovering over the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's see if we can uh, take Seraphim here and try to land on the enemy beach. So with this unit, you guys, you can be really creative with this guy. You know what I mean? You don't have to just tr go the traditional route and march up on the enemy base. You can kind of, you can use the water. I mean, he can go anywhere on the map, you guys. Oh, here we go, here we go. Look at him go. See how he's moving? He's still firing, but he's moving away. He's able to hover and move away. Nice. As he's attacking. Get him, yeah! Took down the wasp. Bring it on. Dragonflies are still coming at him, but we're closer to the beach here. Doesn't look like the enemy's got anything in the water. Very nice. We're going to move right over here. Let's take out that supply. Take away some resources before we hit the land there. Yeah. I love how this guy just hovers. Oh, my gosh. This unit is fun. All right. Take out that... Yeah, let's land. Oh, shoot. We got the mole. The mole's here. Oh, no. No, we landed, but the mole was there. Where the heck did the mole come from? Oh, dang it. Dang it, you mole. All right. Okay, well, the mole had help. Okay, let's be fair. The wasp and the dragonflies were hitting it before it got to the mole. But, yeah, the mole did a good job. All right, we got another factory up. We got another Seraphim on the way. Yeah, yeah. Here it comes. Oh, let's look at it from the side now. Let's turn it a little bit here and kind of look inside as it opens up. Oh, I love the way it opens. I love it. I love the way it opens. Look at that. Look at that. All the details inside of there, too. You can see it. Listen, Gear Games. You guys are doing an excellent job. Keep it up. I'm loving this. All right, here we go. Come on. Who wants a piece of the Seraphim? Yeah! Oh, come on. You want a piece of this? Look at that, the gun tower can't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. Son of a gun, he's got a lot going on right there. <laughs> Dang it, Extreme. Stop that. Okay. Guys, if you want to see more awesome mole action after this video, and uh, hero action. Go check out Extreme's video that'll be at the end of this video when he gets his videos done. Make sure you check him out. He's got a great YouTube channel. He's a Art of War 3 player and he's excellent. Lots of fun. Check him out. Also, Tracy's video will be at the end of this video as well. You guys know Tracy or you should. He's awesome as well, so check him out. All right. Let's look from the back side. Here we go. Another angle. I want to see it from another angle. Okay. Oh, I love the way that lights up. All right. 
Here we go. The Seraphim. Oh, look in there. You can see the, oh, the gears and everything. Oh, the hydraulics and the... Just all the details they put into these buildings. The, everything. Every single thing. I mean, the trees are moving, guys. I don't know if you've seen that or noticed that. I mean, those of you who don't play this game, you, maybe you haven't seen it. Oh, my God, the mole. Those dang turrets that the mole have. Those little... Oh, and there! Look at that. The mole, the mole has help from the mo the mo the wasp. The wasp and the mole are attacking my bunker. Wait a minute! Oh, the drill! Did you guys see that drill just go right into the bunker? Look how fast the! Oh my gosh! The damage! Oh, what? <laughs> what? That drill! That drill is. Oh, wow, badass drill mole. What the heck? Wow. So, like I said, you guys are getting to see the mole in action as well. And the mole is really on the offensive in this one. And pretty soon, I'm going to test out the mole here in this video. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the mole in more of a defensive position. I'm going to use them to defend my base. Let's see here. Got the Cerberus coming. Yes. And another Seraphim. And we're popping out some Zeus now. Let's get some Zeus out here. Yeah. Now we're going to move and try to go up and attack the enemy base from above the, the, the top side there of that base, the red base there. See if we can get any any luck in there oh geez look at the damage he's doing that was excellent that them um, i can't believe it we'll lay down some walls here in a little bit and see what the what the uh mole can do to the walls too all right look at yeah he's got that whole hill locked up which is a good move on this map all right we got our seraphim we got some hammers and some zeus and anti-air we're gonna move to the top of red's base here and see if we can do some damage all right yes if you are brand new to my channel thank you for checking out this video and i appreciate your time for and watching my content thank you very much please don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe i do have memberships on my channel for just one dollar a month you guys you can be a member of the channel and support me that way i'd really appreciate it and you'll get access to all my content and see more great art of war 3 stuff as well oh come on yeah transformed him now we're on the ground oh yeah <laughs> look at that Woo, those missiles my goodness oh come on yeah this guy is taking on a whole army. Wow, it took a lot to take that guy down. My goodness. But we found the enemy hero building. Yes. All right. Very cool. I hope you guys are liking the Seraphim. Make sure you leave a comment down below in this video and tell me your thoughts on the Seraphim. Like I said, I'm going to put some walls up here. Let's see what the mole can do with these walls. Yeah. Come get a piece of the walls, mole. All right. Seraphim's out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Holy crap. So the mole must be up on the hill there. Dropped his stuff over there. His church. We're going to go up on that hill. Yeah, yeah. You like that? Sneaking up on me. How you like that, mole? Cerberus is giving it to you. Ah! He's drilling into him. He's drilling into C Cerberus. The mole is... Oh! <laughs> what? Did you guys see that? Did you see that? The mole just put the drill through Cerberus. Oh my goodness. Ow! Ouch! What? Ah, that's gotta hurt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh! Mole is still here dropping 
Oh, dropping his turrets right on the other side of the wall. He didn't even have to do anything to the wall. He went right over the wall. Oh my gosh. Or, or better, actually, more like going under the wall. Jeez. Okay. Man, look at the damage on this little guy. Wow. Look at the damage. Look at my uh, HQ. Look at that. Every time it fires, just chipping away at my HQ. Wow. All right. Seraphim! Oh, yeah. So we got, we got, oh, long range right here. And we've got the mole dug in behind them. Come on. Yeah, come on. Let's give him some missile, shall we? Yeah, let's show him what we got. Take a piece of this. Yeah. How do you like that? Boom. <laughs> yeah, you better run. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah. Nice. I like I like the mammoth mole combo, though. Oh, look at this. Oh, what? Look at the mole. It's hitting a wall. Look, it's taking out the wolves. Oh, my gosh. Let's watch this, you guys. Yes, the mole. Look at that. Two wall, two pieces of a wall at a time. So basically two squares or two cells or whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Two, look at that. Two pieces of the wall. Wow. Drilling right into it, you guys. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that. Dang. That drill is something. And let me tell you, it takes a lot of hits. Once that thing gets into the ground. Oh my gosh, wow. Impressive, look at this guy. Now he's dug in right here. Look at him, look at those arms, those little arms. Oh my gosh, wow, very cool. I love, and I love the graphics when he digs into the ground and gets out of the ground. Oh my gosh. No! So now, <laughs> the wasp and the mole are taking down my buildings. <laughs> oh no there look at this though boom oh with the wasp and it's acid and the mole and the drill that combo is really effective look how quick they're taking down the buildings you guys that is something oh dropping the nice you see how they you got a good look at how they come out of the ground there oh so they're nice they're shooting at my hero building drilling into it and dropping those dang, those dang missiles from the wasp. No, no. Oh my gosh, look at this. Whoo, my goodness. Guys, the, the wasp you see there, that's the tier one hero from the resistance. And the mole is the tier two hero. And these guys are just kicking my base's butt right now with the, destroying my buildings. Rude. Oh, let's take a look at the mole, you guys. Wow, the mole. Look at this guy. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Automatic turret. Deploys a turret with a auto cannon at the de designated cell. It automatically attacks targets within a radius of 6.2 cells. Turret's lifetime is 45 seconds. So it lasts for 45 seconds, and then he can make another one and put out another one and another one. Wow. Wow. Shelter. Uh, when HP drops to 40%, it goes underground, decreasing incoming damage by 90%. By 90%. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. Most effective against medium and heavy armored vehicles, the mole engineering machine is aimed at supporting ground units and holding strategic points in a war zone. A massive drill is not only a threatening weapon, along with auger chassis, it allows Mole to quickly dig in and transform itself into a mobile workshop. In an emergency cases, Mole is able to completely, wow, go underground. That is crazy. Let's see if we can see some of that underground action, you guys. So basically, if it gets close to where, you know, its life is really dwindled, it, it'll go down underground and it, Wow, decreased damage by 90%. That is nuts. All right, let's check it out. I am now resistance checking out 
the mole, okay? So I will have the wasp and the mole. The enemy over here, the confederation will have, yes, the Cerberus and the Seraphim. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this a little differently than everybody else would. I'm gonna send some armadillos and dragonfly and my wasp over to the right of the map here. And uh, you guys know this map, Samoon map. Uh, it's an interesting map for sure. And usually you get to build with your partner up in the corners or down in the corners. So there is my headquarters. I'm upgrading it so I can get to that level two hero. All right. Nice. Okay, so what my plan here, guys, I'm not going to attack a whole lot. I want to defend. I want to see how the mole helps me defend. And I'm going to use porcupines and I'm going to use a lot of infantry, a, a mix of snipers, grenadiers, and riflemen with those porcupines and, of course, the mole, my anti-air, my gun turret, my gun towers, and my sniper towers. And we're going to see how this goes. You can see that he's got the Seraphim and Cerberus were trying to attack me right there and get into my base, but I've got enough defense up. Definitely focusing on the anti-air. You can see I've got my mole, and he's he's got those turrets right there. There's three right there. Here comes my wasp again because I lost him. But, uh, yeah, check out the mole, you guys. I like this guy. I like him a lot. And that drill, that was so cool to see. That sucker can really do some damage to buildings and stuff. And, did you... I couldn't believe it! When he drilled the Cerberus, you guys gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go watch that again. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, here we go. All right, so there, oh, 40, was it 45 seconds I think they said? 42 or 45. So you can see the timer or their lifespan uh, running out there and then they destroy themselves or they self-destruct and you build more, so that's cool. All right, those are the special containers. They've got these new containers now, I believe, that will pop up after the first two minutes of the battle and keep popping up one at a time with extra resources and stuff in them. Uh, that's, so that's pretty cool. All right, more porcupines and more grenadiers, riflemen, and snipers. Yes, so we're going to do an infantry mix with the mole and all of our defensive structures here. Sniper tower, gun tower, anti-air. And uh, we're gonna defend and see how that goes. I really think it's actually gonna be a pretty good combo, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And I'll, I'm gonna make some hawks here uh, towards the end here. I'll make some hawks to help out that way. All right, let's speed it up. I love the way that that guy dig, digs into the ground. Yeah, here we go. Now I'm sending some guys down to the left side. Yes. And uh, you can see my mole right there waiting. Waiting to deploy the turrets. But you saw how the mole has a, a you know, so many cells and a circle around it. And then beyond that, you can even put turrets down. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Quite a big, oh, quite a big force, but we wiped them out. He even had uh, flame assaults in there. Nice. Those church did a nice job, too. And my infantry mix there. Nice job. Look at that guy. Let's move him over this way. Yeah, there we go. And those are destroyed now. So you can see this container. These are new, and I'm pretty excited about those, actually. I think it'll be interesting and add a little new dynamic to the battle. All right, so I've got my guys over here now. Because he seems to like that front and that side. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, got my Hawks on the way, you guys. Got the uh, airfields going up. And you guys probably noticed I put down some mines over on that right side. 
You like that placement right there of the mole? I got him hiding a little bit, but he can still put his turrets out on the other side of the palm trees. Got to be sneaky with him. All right, I moved him up front. There we go. Oh, yeah! Here he comes. Let's see how we do here. Holy cow. Lots of cyclones. Lots of, oh, man. Cyclones, fire assaults, hammers, and long range in the back there with heavy assaults and Cerberus. Holy cow. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. The mole. The mole is still hanging on. Woo, that thing is nice. Come on, Hawks. Come on, Hawks. Whoa, look at that. It's still taking it. I got a defense boost. Look, at it went down into the ground, you guys. Look, it's in under the ground now. All right, I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him over here. Oh, man, they're focused on the guys in the front of the base. The mole is going to move to a different position here. We're going to take out that long range with the turrets. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, how do you like that? Oh, no, there's one more back there. Come on, Hawks. Come on, Hawks. Oh, I lost my mole, but hopefully the Hawks can finish off this hammer. That Cerberus is trying to run away. Come back here, Cerberus. You don't get to live. No, you can't run from the Hawks. <laughs> uh, yes, here he comes, the mole. Guys, I got to tell you, I love these Tier 2 heroes. You're doing an excellent job, Gear Games. Keep it up. I love all the adjustments you've made, all the little touches, the graphics, every single thing. You guys are rocking it. Good job, Gear Games team. Good job.